Hey everyone, this is Krista Major here. I hope you are just as ready as I am to be fired up. I have got two powerhouse agents, Latoya and Don Lattimore. They are from Columbia, South Carolina, and they are going to rock and roll. Uh, if you want to see her entire chapter, Latoya, go to kristamajor.com forward slash secrets to see uh, her podcast all in format of her chapter. How are you guys doing? Welcome. Yeah. Hey, hey, Thanks hey. for having us, Krista. Oh, oh my so gosh. <laughs> so if people want to learn more about you, where can they find you? I always like to do that right first time. What would you say is the best way for them to find us? Oh, oh what, online? Or what? Online, yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, LattimoreGroup.com. LattimoreGroup.com. Okay, yeah. LattimoreGroup.com. Yeah. A lot of people are actually moving to, you know, South Carolina. Yeah. So it's a great, great for referrals. They are, they are your agents. They are powerhouse. Yeah. Another site you can go to um, for contact purposes, LattimoreGroupRealEstate.com. LattimoreGroupRealEstate.com. Mm-hmm. Okay, so talk to me. Tell me. What is your chapter about? Let's kind of, first of all, how are you going to in real estate? What kind of numbers are you doing? Um, and what, what's your chapter about? We have got, we've been licensed since 2016 okay. in South Carolina, um, shortly after we re- relocated to South Carolina. <laughs> so been licensed since 2016. And I would say that we are typically doing anywhere between 15 to 20 million a year. Wow. God. Yes. Mm-hmm. And the average price in our market is in the twos. Oh, like 200,000 as well. That's yeah. a lot of business. Yes. Mm-hmm. So yeah. typically you're uh, upwards of 50 plus homes a year. Yes. Really? Yes. Yeah. That's awesome. So, yeah. so good. Okay. So what is, what's your secret sauce? I would say, well, in our chapter is about leading with value. So everything comes down to leading with value, giving great content, giving great information to our audience, making sure that they have all the resources that they need to make the best decision about their home buying or home selling experience. Uh, Sales is service. Yes. Yeah. Kind of thing. And you guys do do a lot. For the, how is it working together? I mean, husband and wife, does that pay? <laughs> 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 okay, so uh, I shared a lot. I was going to say, we're power fire for a That's what I will say. <laughs> it, it takes some getting used to. Yeah. However, we have a lot of fun. Yeah. All the time. We, we do. Now, of course, we have two A-type personalities. Yeah. Right? So, um, so. Everybody wants to be the boss, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we learn how to. You know, adapt and she does her thing. I do my thing, and uh, we. But it took time for us to learn. And, you know, I will say that we do a great job at dividing and conquering. Yeah, dividing and conquering. Yeah, yes. I love that. That's so good. Yeah, yeah. like strengths and weaknesses. You play off each other. It, yes, pretty mm-hmm. much. So so good. Okay, so tell us what's the secret sauce. All right, so secret sauce. I, I guess I'll just go and start jumping right into the chapter. Um, I focus primarily on listings, and I think with that being the case, there's just so much value that you could provide to your community just focusing on listings. Um, we do a great deal of content marketing, a um, great deal of video marketing, and in that, I would say that that's led us to a lot of business. It's led us to a lot of folks in the community, and a lot of people probably don't know this, but we're not from South Carolina. We're actually from California, so... When we got there, we did not have a sphere. And I know a lot of real estate agents say, you know, the best way to get business is, you know, everyone, you know, your sphere. Mm-hmm. Everyone, you know, that you've done business with before. We didn't have that. Thing. We didn't have it. And now we're completely we new. To, we had to build it yes. from the ground floor. Yeah. Because even when we got there, when my job, re- well, the job at the time, when we relocated, we relocated me, I couldn't talk to anybody about real estate after we got licensed. So we had to grow this without telling it. I mean, how you know, you're the closest people that I saw every day. We couldn't tell anybody about it. And so we had to figure it out. Yeah. And so when we say, I guess, the secret sauce is really, it, a lot of video, uh, yeah, right? Like, and, properly distributing it makes yes, you have to yes, get seen. Yes, and, and following. Well, in our right first side. three years in the business, we were not that, well, we were structured, but we were not that structured. We were doing things the hard way. You know, we started off with bad habits like most agents do. Um, and we did a lot of the old traditional methods of getting business, like um, cold calling, door knocking, doing hard open houses, you know, the stuff to get in front of folks because we didn't know anyone. Um, and when I think about our real estate career, I probably could have quit my job a whole lot sooner if I would have started implementing video a whole lot sooner. Mm-hmm. Um, but I guess at the time, you don't know what you know about. Yeah, you don't know. Right? You, you know. only know yeah. where people are telling you this is what you should be doing yeah. and so we did roll during some of those things yeah but it wasn't to the extent of where we knew that we could go and so oftentimes we were man i know these people that sell all these old are doing all this stuff yeah. i guess just to put I things that i just to put things in numbers you know doing it the manual way or you know the old school methods our database probably grew to about three thousand folks in our database mm-hmm. 
you know, fast forward now, you know, three years of using digital methods. Now we have a database of, of over 15,000 folks. Wow. So these are people that I can put marketing content material in front of at any time. And we grew this just by being great at digital marketing and learning what we learned for the coaching program. <laughs> <laughs> you could have said that. So I, I think it's a true testament to the fact that yeah. you are not from South Carolina. Yeah. No, not at all. You're from California. You came here, no spear. You knew no one. Yeah. You, you implemented the video marketing digital marketing strategies, targeting your people locally in your area, giving high, high value, yes. Yes. informational content, um, and just being seen to, and now selling over 50 plus dollars a year. Yes. And you were saying at first when you, when you were doing, you know, you first started, uh, was it a couple of years before you started seeing traction or did you, did you find traction? We found traction right yeah. away. And, and I'll say it's just naturally because we're closers. I mean, yeah. <laughs> we're been a little people. Yeah, we're real. We found success. It was just no, no I don't limited. Talk to you were the no, dog. No, I don't talk to anyone. <laughs> it was limited because we only had evenings and weekends. We both had full time yeah. jobs. We had our children, so it we didn't have any support. So we literally only had evenings and weekends. So. And that's why I said well, we didn't know we didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. So we early on. That's why we spent so much time on the weekends doing open houses and doing yeah. those things. But again, it wasn't really growing and, and, yeah. and it was just a lot of work a lot of work a lot of work and and I remember very few people thing. calling oh, us <laughs> yeah and very few people called us saying hey can you help us buy a house or hey can you help us to list a house because you know we were doing things that was more like hunting down business yeah. versus now gosh we get phone calls on a consistent yeah. basis people well, finding us on google people seeing our videos on social media and now the business is coming yeah. to it, it was more attraction based market. yeah yeah we've learned over time right but you know you want to become the hunted instead of the hunter yes. all the time right and so when we put that in, into our minds okay there's got to be another we got to figure it out so then of course when we start implementing a lot of those strategies what happens now people start calling you yeah right? and then and then um, just to fast forward a little bit, it, it's amazing what some of the stuff that Latoya does with some of these listings where when you talk about when before you arrive, oh, those listing agreements are already, when she that calls her, so her son, before we ever step foot in the door. Yeah. And of course, then so. she sends me out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to say that, but I just want to make <laughs> well, it. We learned very early on being with limited time how to be efficient. Yeah. And with efficiency, you have to learn how to we're in the right systems mm -hmm. and they have to be the systems that fit with your time and your budget. So with that being the case, you know, we turned up the, we just turned up the juice with yeah. video. And for me, content creation, it comes easy. There's because we have so much industry experience mm -hmm. just from being on the lending side of the business, being investors, um, being house flippers and selling real estate and just, you know, having the knowledge that we have to me, content comes easy. You know, it's just put yourself in the shoes of the buyer or the seller. Yeah. What do you want to know when you're making that big decision? And I think the content creation comes pretty easy. People are always like, well, what's the, what's the one video I should do? And it's like, if somebody tries to tell you what it is, they're, yeah. they're full of it. It's yeah. just creating the content, yeah. looking out what are the buyer's pain points? What are yeah. seller's pain points? What do yep. buyers want? What do sellers want? And speaking to that yeah. every day when you go on an appointment, something happens or a question's asked. Yeah. It means other people have the same question. People do yeah. not understand. I think a lot of times in real estate, we forget. Yes. Number one, just what an important transaction is to people. They live there. They break bread there. They get married there, have children there. Everything happens there. It's their most valuable yeah. asset in most cases that will ever be. And it's important to them. And it's there's so much involved that people have no idea about. So yeah. it really isn't hard to position yourself as the authority. It's just making sure the content actually gets seen. Yeah, yeah, well, and not only that, I remember one time where you actually came to Columbia, South Carolina, yeah. and you did a little mini training, and you, you challenged everybody inside the room and said, do a video on this break, <laughs> and, and then come back, we'll talk about it. Well, that's what we did. We, we just went down the hallway. I took my phone, and I, we did a little video, and it came back, and we saw them. So, you paid for us a training the day before, too, weren't you? Yeah, that's yeah. what I was talking yeah. about. And, and and we we did that video, and then it's funny we ran an ad on that video. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we had so and it was just a simple video. We were walking down a hallway, mm -hmm. past the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Not even so, a, they didn't even have hair, makeup, no, none of that. So many <laughs> cell phone. Yeah, yeah we had a we. I think that was one of our top viewed 
videos at the time, mm -hmm. and it was just simple. So you never know, but it, we were educating yeah. floaters yeah. during it. it. It was fun. And you don't need fancy equipment. You just need your cell phone. The yeah. cell phones are better than a lot of the equipment. Do. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's what we had to learn, too. Yeah, you had to learn. Yeah, too. I had to learn to simplify it and stop trying to make it so much Hollywood. And I, I get the best response from the videos where I'm just being wrong. Being yourself. Yeah. Yeah, being yeah, just. Are you hearing that, listener? <laughs> being yourself. You can really get a rock. Yeah. But we'll see that. Don't that, fancy editors. Yeah. Just record the yeah. video. People want to see it. And I think people want to connect to who you are. Yeah. And not who you're trying to be. Yeah. And the more you are yourself, the more the people who want to work with you are going to work with you. The people you want to work with are going to work with you because you're trying mm -hmm. to be who you are. And it's that way with any business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Toya talks about that inside her chapter too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? And where she's, so I do a lot of the, the, the raw stuff because that's me. I'm always out and about. So you're going to get something raw from me all yeah. the time. So that's what people see a lot and they resonate that with us a lot because I do a lot of raw stuff. Yeah. And uh, she may do some of the longer form content and we blend it in between, but yeah. that's what people want to see. Yeah. That's what keeps our name out there and that's what people, they, they gravitate to us a lot more. Yeah, I want to say for us it was important early on building our brand mm -hmm. um, just so people knew who we were because we didn't have the advantage that a lot of people had growing up in the yes. community and you know, you, you come and you see these people that have lived in the community for 20 plus years where they have childhood friends and you're like, um, and you're nervous. You don't know if you're, how you're going to get the same business that they're getting. And I think one of the things that I was nervous about when I became a uh, licensed for the first time was how am we going to find business? Where's the business going to come from? Like, we don't know anyone. Yeah. And it's finding business is the easy part. Yeah. <laughs> it's, what you do. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's how do you follow up and how do you make sure that people see how genuine you are about wanting to help them, you know, with their goal and accomplish their goal of home ownership or selling their home and it just to think about it putting the things in perspective in perspective i remember you know when we moved to south carolina how we were trying to sell two properties bought a property and we're selling property in two states and one of our properties has sat on the market for a long time and we were just completely frustrated and at this time we weren't even licensed but we they ended up getting licensed and i remember thinking to myself I would never want to put a seller in this position if they wanted to sell their home and now they're in another state and I'm not marketing their property. I'm not giving them updates. Yeah. So you kind of learn, you know, this is the service that I want to provide. You These are the resources that I want to provide. I don't mm -hmm. want a seller ever questioning, is my home getting sold? What is my agent doing? Yeah. But it's your own life experiences teach you what you should be giving, you know, to your client on the other end. And that's why I, I like focusing on serving and not selling. I love that. And yeah. It's so true. You want to be a top producer? Yeah. You do be a top marketer. You know, one of my yeah. slogans is when you do what you love, people love what you do. And yeah. people before things and the things will come. If you yeah. treat people right, the things will always come. And I think, you know, it's not always that way. Some agents and, and, I, and you know, they, they need to sell the house more than the buyer or seller needs to buy or, or sell. Yeah. If they haven't done as brain many transactions, and they, they can lose that very, very quickly. Yeah. And so it's important to always put your, your clients first. Yeah. Well, I, everyone, again, if you want to, you know, hear more about Latoya's chapter, go to kristamajor.com forward slash secrets to read all about their strategy and their process yeah. and how she's attracting business, not chasing it, being hunted, not the hunter, yeah. you know, as Don would say. <laughs> and, um, and, and then, you know, what she's doing to actually just make sure once she's getting that attention, that exposure, how to take it home and actually get the listing. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. There's a whole systems and processes behind it, and there's a way to make it simple. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, and put it all together, and you got it. <laughs> all right, so I always end every every podcast with this. If you could give one piece of advice, just one piece of advice, whether it's business, health, wealth, love, relationships, whatever, what would that be? No. Well, for, for me personally... <laughs> I will say... Happy wife, happy wife. That goes. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> no, well, but no, seriously, no, what, well, no, that is true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, when you, in business, when you do decide that you want to do something, figure it out take action and, and just just be laser focused to get it done. Mm -hmm. that, and that's, that's so important. Just be laser focused. Don't think that it's going to come overnight, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, because you've got to work it. And yeah. if you want to see the fruits of your labor, you've got to, you got to work it. And then it, it, it will come. It will come. My and then what you said too. <laughs> <laughs> I always say, don't ever bite more than you can chew. You know, you want to be able to provide the right 
amount of service to anyone that you're doing business with or anyone that you have an interaction with to focus on the relationship. Yeah, do a, treat people right, do yeah. a good job. But hey, for those of you that are like, oh, I'm afraid to get busy, because what, what if I get too busy and then I can't take care of my clients? No, you worry about that later. I do yeah, that yeah. all the time. Like, that is not an excuse. We I mean, that sounds like a good yeah. problem. We're not strong. I've never seen it. Yeah. Oh, thank you both so much for being here. Awesome. So much thank valuable. you. And I hope you are just as fired up as I am, Don, on the Toy Ladder Work, <laughs> out of South Carolina, Columbia. And we will see you next time. Be sure to go to kristamasher.com forward slash secrets to hear about their chapter as well as many others and make it a great day.